Okay, so I have salted my Napa cabbage and it's actually shrunk a bit and gotten really, really wilted, which is good, nice and soft, almost kind of rubbery in texture. And I've made my paste uh, for my kimchi. This is gonna be the traditional way of doing this today. I'm gonna make a whole piece. Normally I chop it all up and make like a really quick version of kimchi in a jar, but I'm gonna make the traditional um, big pieces that you're gonna cut up after when it's all ready. So I've got my kimchi paste that I'm gonna coat these in and then put them in a container. I'm just using one of these. I wanna get an ongi, which is that ceramic pot. I've, I've almost ordered one online. I'm, I'm gonna do it uh, so I can actually make it the right way. But anyway, this will work. Uh, a friend of mine, Korean friend, she makes it all the time in that. So I'm gonna leave it um, once it's in here overnight on the counter and then I'll put it in the fridge for a few days and it'll be perfect. So um, normally you would probably wanna wear some gloves but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna take my Napa cabbage and just start to coat, get in between all the nooks and crannies with my kimchi paste. This one, I've had about one and a half cups of red pepper flakes, Korean red pepper flakes, so it's gonna be pretty hot. Um, you can make it obviously as hot as you want. So there's the kimchi, and then I'm just gonna roll it together, just get the back side, and place it into the container, like so. And who says you can't sip on some green tea while you're doing this? Mm. Well, I'm one of the few people that I know that um, likes to listen to Chinese opera. And uh, I think even a lot of Chinese people don't like to listen to Chinese opera, but I, I like it. Um, I've heard people describe it as the sound of someone drowning a cat, um, which I guess, yeah, kind of does sound like that. Um, but I love the costumes and face painting. And I love cats, they're my soul animals, so. I think I'm just, I think I'm just naturally drawn to it, so yeah, a little. Chinese opera in the background. So there's kimchi number two. Let's just get some. This paste that I made, I start with a base of two cups of water two tablespoons of rice flour and bring that to a boil and then add in uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar and you get kind of like a thick little soupy paste, almost like wallpaper paste. Uh, and then to that I chopped up some carrots, some radishes. I don't have any Korean radish, radishes, um, but I just use regular radish and green onion. There is garlic in this, there is fish sauce, there is onion, there is ginger. So yeah, this is, mm, this already smells good. Oh wow. So you wanna get that into all of the little nooks and crannies, all the paste in there. It's really gonna take on this amazing flavor and onions, carrots. Okay, my fresh batch of kimchi is ready to ferment. So like I said, I'm gonna put the lid on this now and I'm gonna let it sit on my counter for about a day. And then I'm gonna transfer it into my refrigerator for a few more days. And um, of course, the longer you let it sit, the better it's gonna taste. So there we go, fresh kimchi. Yeah.